Hello everyone, and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls 2 PvP and another weapon showcase. This time I am using the Bound Hand Axe, which is one of the day one DLC weapons if you pre-ordered the game. Now, I've got to say I've used this weapon quite a bit, and I really do enjoy this one a lot. I like its moveset. The damage output leaves a bit to be desired, but I would definitely say it makes up for it in other ways. But getting started with the weapon itself. The Bound Hand Axe, it requires 15 strength and 7 dexterity in order to wield. It has a C scaling in strength and no dexterity scaling. At plus 9, the weapon has a physical base damage of 171 and an attack rating of 305 with a ring of blades plus 2. So that's a 255 without it. It also causes bleed, and the bleed base at plus 9 is 96 with a bleed bonus of 70, so the total is 166. Also, for this video, I'm wearing the Crest of Blood, and of course, that increases your bleed by 50. So for this weapon, for this video, I've got a bleed bonus of 216, and even with that, it still doesn't bleed people out very often at all. I think I only get it to happen once, so that's a thing. Other info about the weapon, it has a counter strength of 110, poise damage is 25 per hit, and the weight is 3.5 units. Now, I did say it was a day one DLC weapon. For those who don't get this weapon on day one, or who did not get this weapon on day one, you can purchase it in Drang Lake Castle from the spooky ghost guy, whose name I can't actually remember. Um, yeah. So, this weapon, I've got to say, I really do enjoy this thing quite a bit. It's a lot of fun. I love the moveset that this weapon has, and its ability to combo is fantastic. It stuns, of course, it stuns very, very easily, but it can just stun lock someone for a good four hits and that you'll be able to see later on can be kind of devastating um, I was able to get quite a few good combos on people so despite the low damage output that the weapon has it builds up very fast it builds up incredibly fast and that's a good thing of course now the pros and the cons of the weapon I would have to say that the biggest pro is exactly what I was just going over the fact that it stuns and combos and can stun lock and all of that good stuff that goes with it right there. I just completely misjudged my timing and distancing with that roll, but right here, get a nice combo going. So that's what I was talking about right there. Its ability to combo is fantastic and not to be underestimated for sure. The damage output, as I said, is poor. It took that many hits to get that much damage built up, but it was able to get that much damage built up. So there's something right there you should definitely keep in mind, and this is something that you do want to watch out for if you're fighting someone with the weapon. One hit can easily turn into three or four if you are not careful. So that's something you really should watch out for. Now, the biggest con of the weapon, I definitely would have to say it would be the damage output. The damage output on this thing really is not great. I mean, yes, it makes sense because the moveset does combo so well, but the regular hand axe, I am 99% certain, has the exact same moveset, exact same ability to combo, and can do more damage. So it's kind of outclassed, especially considering even though I am wearing the Crest of Blood and do have a bleed bonus of 216, I'm not bleeding people out, like, ever. It happened, I think, once in this video, and of all the time that I've spent using this weapon, I can only think of a handful of times that it's actually ended up working. I generally either die or kill people before it happens, so... I mean, that kind of goes to show you a regular hand axe might be better in this case, because yes, you would get more damage, and you would sacrifice the bleed, which doesn't really work often enough, anyway, for that extra bit of damage. So, there's that. But, all that aside, I really did enjoy this weapon. It was one that I used on day one, of course. I picked it up, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna try it, and I was not disappointed. It didn't get me away from a battle axe for my PvE playthrough or anything, but for PvP, it's a good weapon. It's a very good weapon. I find myself using the one-handed moveset significantly more than the two-handed moveset, although the two-handed moveset is definitely one that is very viable and should not be underestimated either. So there's that. 
Overall, I would definitely have to say that this is a weapon worth picking up if you are in any way interested in the moveset and its ability to combo and all that good stuff. Very good weapon, very fun weapon. I really enjoyed using this thing a lot. Also, one other thing to note, it does appear as though it has a bit of a phantom range to it for the majority of its attacks. So earlier in this fight when I was going for that R2, it definitely appeared as though he was out of reach yet I was still able to hit him, and that's a good thing for me. Not so much for him, but definitely good for me, so that's something else you should keep in mind if you're using or fighting against this weapon. Its range does appear to be short, but things can be deceiving apparently. So that's really all I've got left to say. This is the last fight, and as I've said, that was all I really had to say. So. I'm going to leave here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful in one way or another. Please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time.